Hello and welcome to the Oral Health Channel. I'm your knowledgeable, friendly neighborhood dentist, Dr. Rudra Mohan, and today we are going to be talking about wisdom teeth and their impaction. So let's start. So today we are going to be talking about wisdom teeth. What are wisdom teeth? Let's try to understand what wisdom teeth are. These are your third molars that are present in both your upper and lower jaws. Now, why do they get impacted is a question that has been under study for the longest time. But then again, it has been theorized that with evolutionary change in the human species, our skull size and the jaw size kind of went smaller. And over a period of time, the tooth size did not change. Now, because of this, the third molars have known to be becoming the vestigial organs or vestigial teeth in the jaws as there is no space for them to come out and we have enough teeth in the mouth to chew the food that we eat because of the fact that our dietary habits have changed uh, we are not taking coarse and rough food and fibrous food anymore we're taking refined sugars and the kind of diet has completely changed over a period of time along with the evolutionary changes in the jaws so now why are these teeth called wisdom teeth there is no particular way or there's no particular reason why they are called wisdom teeth it's a mis misnomer because of the fact that these teeth erupt after the age of 18 so it's considered that cognitively speaking or mentally speaking your mental abilities become more mature and you can make your own decisions as you become an adult at the age of 18 hence these teeth are known as wisdom teeth now once these teeth are impacted what does impaction mean impaction means that the tooth is trying to come out but it's not able to because of the fact that there is a tooth si bone size discrepancy that means there is not enough space for the tooth to come out why is it so because either the tooth is pretty big and the kind of space in the jaw is small as well as the fact that the previous tooth that is your second molar is impeding its eruption at the same time, the tooth can be embedded in the bone and near the vital structures and therefore it's not able to come out. Now the question arises, when is it problematic and when should you see the dentist regarding wisdom teeth or their impaction? If your tooth is impacted, that's all right. As long as it's not causing any symptoms, you don't need to rectify it. There's no problem. But the moment you start feeling that there is some symptomatic problem in the sense that you feel there is pain, that there is tenderness or there is swelling around that area or the gums around that area are swollen, there's bleeding, there's foul breath coming or you feel sensitivity in that area, you should definitely go to the dentist and get yourself checked out. Now there are different types of impactions that the tooth might have. It might be a straight impaction, uh, maybe you know towards the previous tooth or opposite the previous tooth. At the same time, it could be a horizontal impaction. So it could be just lying down in the bone. Sometimes this tooth partially erupts and it's not able to erupt any furthermore. And what happens, the soft tissue around this tooth generally tends to get infected. This is known as pericoronitis. It's a very common phenomenon that happens with young adults and people over the age of 18. And also it causes a lot of discomfort and pain this is usually seen in association with stressful events such as exams uh, during college time or any other stressful event during the life so what should you do whenever you have a problem related to your wisdom tooth call up your dentist book up an appointment and then get yourself checked most likely the dentist would advise you to get an opg an orthopantomogram a full mouth x-ray of your dentition so that we can judge what the condition of the tooth is around adjacent teeth and the bone surrounding it as well as the vital structure such as your nerves and blood vessels so once you've shown yourself to the dentist they'll probably take a call if the tooth is half erupted or partially erupted or there the soft tissue has been inflamed or infected or at the same time is just putting pressure on your adjacent tooth and causing you pain depending upon how deep the tooth is in the bone how much bone is covering the uh, the tooth and how much of uh, a gridlock is present between the adjacent tooth and the tooth in question uh, we generally tend to go for the removal of the tooth in two ways either you can go with a non-surgical a typical extraction third molar extraction which generally oral surgeons are very proficient in doing and they will probably engage the tooth and take it out under local anesthesia However, if the tooth is very well embedded into the bone, there is a high likely chance that you might have to remove the bone around it and go for a surgical approach. While what they do in that procedure is that they locally anesthetize that area, put in small incision, try to create a purchase, purchase meaning a point where they can remove the tooth, section a little bit of the bone that might be covering the tooth 
and if at all required section the tooth and take it out in pieces now what happens in such cases is first of all generally patients generally get a little anxious but there's nothing to worry about it's a minor opd procedure and is done on a daily basis and oral surgeons are very proficient and this is what they do when it comes to minor ot and so you are obviously expected to tell all your history regarding your medical history and all the drug interactions that you might be having such as gastritis due to you know uh, medicines or anything of that sort of uh, you know any allergy or anything of that sort and we have to make sure that if the infection is too severe we might have to give you antibiotics concomitantly or beforehand the procedure and generally it goes around three to five days of antibiotic therapy and also post extraction you might encounter some swelling that is very common in third molar ex uh, extractions because of the fact that we have kind of removed the bone iatrogenically meaning that we have done the damage but a good damage not something that would cause you a lot of pain and definitely remove the bone and obviously once the body feels that there's some sort of insult be it mechanical irritation it will have a response in the form of inflammation and swelling so there's nothing to be worried about if you feel that the swelling is too big cosmetically i would suggest that you should not go to work take some days off work that is on the discussion upon uh, you know the understanding between you and the oral surgeon and uh, so again i would like to reiterate that wisdom tooth problems can cause actually a lot of problems and if it's if it goes unchecked it can cause other complications as well so at any point of time you feel the need that there is something bothering you about your third molars get an x-ray done and call up your dentist and get yourself checked out and if need be get it extracted with the help of an oral surgeon so today that's all about it about the impactions and the wisdom teeth like share and subscribe and please write in the comments whatever your feedback is and thank you stay safe